Hi, this is a quick demonstration of the patient management tools on mobile phones that we're using with health extension workers in Tigray in northern Ethiopia. We're using a slightly customised version of Open Data Kit. When the patient comes for their maternal care visit, the health extension worker can select which protocol or which form should be completed on this visit. We have registration, which is just completed on the very first visit, delivery, termination, postnatal care, antenatal care, lab test and antenatal care. So let's have a look at the postnatal care. The health extension worker is guided through all of the questions they should ask the patient and they must complete each question before proceeding to the next one. So we always ask for consent from the patient first to check that they're happy with the health extension worker using this for their care visit and we ask for some basic patient identification information such as their user ID, their name, year of birth and their age. And then we come on to the actual postnatal care questions. We allow the health extension worker to change to using Tigrinian, so all of the protocols have been translated into Tigrinian if the health extension worker may be more comfortable working like this. One of the customizations that we've made is regarding dates. This is, question is asking for the delivery date and the health extension workers are generally much more comfortable using the Ethiopian date format than they are using the Gregorian calendar. So we've allowed them to do this and this is one of the customizations we've made. And then we proceed through the rest of the postnatal care questions. At the end of the, each protocol they're asked to enter the next appointment date and that's entered onto the patient registration card to remind the patient when they, when they should come back. All of this information and this application can be used whilst the health extension worker is offline. All the, all the forms and protocols are saved on the form and then when the health extension worker has a data connection or perhaps at the end of the day, they're able to send all of the forms that they've completed that day or perhaps send them the next day if no connection is available. At the moment I don't have anything to send. We also have a scorecard application which runs in the mobile browser but although it's running in the browser it's still available to be used when offline. All the data is cached within, within the web browser and just updated if the, whenever there is a connection. So we have information here about the numbers of visits made in the last month, some basic information about the risk factors that the patients may have. So the health extension worker can identify how many very high risk patients they may have, so how many patients may, de may develop complications during the pregnancy or delivery. They're able to see the upcoming deliveries for the next month. So here we can see that someone is due for their delivery on Tuesday and there are another two due on Thursday. This is all information which has been collected by health extension workers with patients but I've anonymized all of this information. So you can scroll, they can scroll down and you can see all the, all the deliveries due in the next month. They can also see all the tasks, so for example the other appointments. So here we can see that there, um, today we have two antenatal care visits and one postnatal care visits, visit due. And we can see all, all of the appointments coming up over the next few weeks so that hopefully it will help the health extension workers manage their time so they know which days when, they're, um, when particular patients are due to come for their visits. And we also have an overdue page so we can help identify which patients maybe haven't attended or have missed appointments. So here we can see that two patients missed, missed their appointment yesterday and several missed their appointment on Friday. So the health extension worker can then follow up why, why the patient didn't attend, didn't attend their visit.
This is the analytics website, so it runs in the standard web browser, so you do need an internet connection to be able to access this. It gives um, reporting and management information about usage of the protocols by the health extension workers, and it also gives us, the, if we want to print out the full information of the protocols or we want to view it, then we can do that from here as well. So here on the left, we have the numbers of protocols submitted each day on the, over the last month. And then on the right-hand side, um, breakdown of what type of visits these were. So for example, we can see there are 80 antenatal care visits in the last month. And this is an improvement of 13 from the previous month. So if we want to look at the reports in a bit more detail, we can break this down either by district, we can select which district, we can select a health centre or we can select a health post. So let's say we want to look at district number two and we want to look at the last month. So these are all using the Ethiopian months. So we can look at this and we can see that there were 145 visits made in total during that month for that particular district. And this is an improvement from 108 the month before that. We also have some graphs here, so it tells us um, which health centres and which health posts have sub been submitting the most um, protocols and have made the most visits. So here we can see that Health Centre 5 has made just over 100 visits. And, the, and we can break this down by the type of visits as well. So we're still working on what types of graphs may be useful to display here and what's most useful for the Health Bureau and for the supervisors to be able to see. The final part to this is if we want to view the, the specific information about a particular protocol submitted by a health extension worker, we can come to the submitted page. This lists out all the protocols submitted at the moment. I'm just showing those for the last seven days. Um, again, this is all information that real health extension workers have collected, but I've anonymized it. So here we can see a health extension worker filled in an antenatal care protocol um, yesterday. So if we want to have a look at that, we can. So here we have the full information that was collected during that visit. So we may want to use this for um, printing a paper backup or other reasons. So um, we can look up any patient records from here as well if we have we know which um, health centre and which ID number they come from. So let me go back to the dashboard and that's a quick overview of how the analytics dashboard works. Thanks.